night. Good morning, everybody. We are just leaving Watson Lake. I tried to get out of there at like 5.30 a.m., but it's 5.58. We did have to top off with gas. We had a half a tank left, but just to, to make sure that beautiful tank going into this longer stretch. We are actually going to go a little bit farther than originally I wanted to tonight, just to try to make it out to Toke, Alaska. So we will have a border crossing. Um, Navigation says we have 656 miles today, so that's roughly 13 hours drive time. And if I add in brakes and gas stop, it's probably going to be 14 to 14 and a half. But the sun sets at about 1045 at night here. So we have plenty of daylight. It's just a matter of stopping to have dinner um, and lunch at the same time to be able to do that. Mosquitoes were nasty last night and this morning, even before I could get the bug spray on. And then I remembered I'd had one of those thermosol thingies. So I turned that on in the morning and that seemed to help. But otherwise, I am definitely welted up with mosquito bites. They tend to love me. We'll see what happens with any itching going on. But I do have some Benadryl just in case. But anyways, it is a beautiful morning so far. It is 56 degrees, which is perfect. I'm sure it'll heat up by this afternoon. There doesn't look to be any storms moving in, but it tends to rain here at night. So going to be on the lookout for that as we head into Alaska. But anyways, here we go. Oh, and forgot to mention, um, since we're going to be stopping through six notable communities before Toke. So those are Teslin, Whitehorse, Haynes Junction, Destruction Bay, Burwash Landing, and Beaver Creek. So those are all the ones we'll stop before we get to Toke. And Toke is about, I want to say, an hour across the border. So plenty more stops versus yesterday on this drive to be able to either stop for gas or take a bathroom break or to stop and see any certain parts of history along the Alaska Highway. Here's a little porcupine. I'm just gonna mosey along our way around him. And he totally just put his quills out. There he goes. See ya buddy. through Teslin and topped off our gas and grabbed something to drink as well. We are on our way, um, or the next big stop is going to be White Horse, which I think is another couple hours to get there, but most likely, hopefully, it'll be time for lunch by the time we get there, and I can stop again. But anyways, Teslin was actually really pretty. They've, they're right on a big lake, and there's lots of camping and stuff around, and they've got a little grocery store and everything so you'd be able to stock up more on not as much gas station type food and bigger jugs of water but we, the only animal sighting we had so far this morning surprisingly was just that porcupine that was in the road so still on the lookout though because they tend to sort of because they tend to just jump out at you literally on the road so always paying attention to make sure that we're not going to hit anything but anyways driving on All right, so we just drove through Whitehorse, which when I was driving through it, it starts maybe 20 kilometers back as far as the signage goes and the welcome sign. And so it's pretty long as you're, as you're coming in and then city center, oh, 13 kilometers away. 
But I turned on the city center. I'm like, wow, this is a really big city. And thinking it's the biggest one since Fort, Fort St. John, uh, back near back near Dawson Creek when we started at mile zero. And as I get into there, I'm like, well, there's a Canadian Tire. There's all the fast food restaurants. There's a the Best Western quality. I'm like, wait a second. This is more than just a city. Looked it up because there is some 3G cell service in the area. And it's it's the capital of Yukon Territory. So, duh. All you Canadians probably think I'm some dumb American. <laughs> didn't realize that White Horse is the capital, but I didn't. I'm sorry. Um, but we did drive through it. So if you do want to stop off there, there are all the major amenities. Um, craft breweries, definitely different types of restaurants, a full major grocery store if you need to resupply anything. At cheaper prices than you would get at one of the smaller towns. But anyways, let's see how much time we have left. We've got... We've got about 374 miles and just under seven hours to go. So making progress, we should get to Toke about 6.30, so around the same time, which is good. Um, not quite lunchtime yet, so we didn't stop there, but I think we're just going to try to get one of these city parks or provincial parks or some other park that's nice or a rest stop to have lunch in about an hour or so. But anyways, we're driving on. Junction through Destruction Bay and it lasts about an hour but I didn't I couldn't even stop to vlog anything because it was the most breathtaking I think drive slash view I've ever seen even after living in Colorado it is almost overwhelming to the point where like you just need to stop you have to stop driving there's a lot of places where I'll get video or I'll shoot from the car and I can see it but it was there, there are no words <laughs> and the video probably won't even describe it as much as just seeing it in person so it's definitely a must as part of the drive um, to be able to drive from this junction through through destruction bay so just wanted to put that note in there the next notable community is going to be burwash landing i think it's coming up fairly quickly but anyways we're going to keep driving on it it's a little bit of overcast and I think it just gets foggy in the bay here so there's not much to see in terms of the mountains outside of the road but anyways just wanted to note one of the most breathtaking sights I've ever seen. We just passed through Beaver Creek for our last bathroom break before the border. We're about uh, 19 miles from the border, so we'll go through customs there to get into Alaska. Very excited. And then about two, or just under two hour drive till we get to Toke. 
I just checked my watch and the sun setting so we've driven so far north is going to be at 12 16 a.m tonight so we definitely will have plenty of daylight the roads from i guess when did we last when did we last chat from destruction bay all the way to beaver creek here were really rough and i think that's due to the freezing and unfreezing of the roads but there's either big potholes or they're uneven so you definitely have to slow your pace down especially if you have a bigger rv or car with a trailer attached but anyways um we're gonna cross through the border and you know get our alaska highway on We just had a successful border crossing. I'm thinking my camera's gonna fall. Um, nothing really too special for US citizens during this COVID time. So I didn't have to show vaccination records or enter any pre-arrival information. Just had to show Remy's updated rabies vaccination and that was about it. So we've got about an hour 43 and 86 miles till we hit Tok and I just was able to reset my speedometer from kilometers per hour back to miles per hour. So that was nice. Uh, oof, lots of potholes on this one, um, but paved. So we'll, uh, we'll check in with you in a little bit. Mm -hmm. 